Hey, Mr. Beekner, can I have the keys? Yeah, what's the word? Chicken noodle. Chicken noodle? Oh, snickerdoodle. Gotcha. Thank you. Hey Centennial, welcome back to another great episode of The Loft. We're your favorite hosts, Jane Zayas. And Cooper Dolion. I hope you guys enjoy. A poem to my love. The blue in my sky. Oh, my love. My everything. Cosmic crisp apples Hey Kinsley, have you paid your senior dues? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna waste fifty dollars. Suit yourself. That carnival was so much fun. What carnival? Well, you probably would have known if you paid your senior dues. Well, I'll pay them now. They were due April 1st, so I don't know how you're gonna pay them. Wow, I can't believe that I missed out on so much. Like Chick-fil-A on Monday, catered tacos on Tuesday, playing with puppies on Wednesday, and a carnival with various activities and fun games on Thursday. Hey seniors, remember to pay your dues. Buy Cosmic Crisp Apples. Oh, I, I, I only keep my thinking a secret. One hundred feet. One hundred and three foot tall. And twenty-five inches. <laughs> I think, Ten inches. Ten inches. I think plus one million feet. Sixteen. Sixteen feet. S L T E E C E N T E N I E L L M N C H Volleyball Soccer Because no because I'm, because I could jump and kick at the same time. No. Football. Football. Baseball. Soccer. Catfish! That's my favorite food! Catfish. Angel hair. Yeah. Angel hair? Is that actually hair? Delicious cheese pizza pack? Mm -hmm. Pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. I'm a junior at Centennial and I am the founder and leader of the Influencers Club here at Centennial. So I'm actually an influencer myself and I just felt like we had no representation at this school. Nobody really, I had nobody to understand me and I really just wanted to feel included because I feel like so outcasted just because I'm famous and verified on TikTok, Instagram. I have 1.5 million followers on TikTok. 396,000 on Instagram. To be an influencer, it's really important that you interact with your fans. However, I don't call them fans, I call them family. So this is just the AV room. This is where I do a lot of my content creating during the Excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Um, so this is, oh my god. Hey guys, guys, can you guys please get out? This is where I do my TikToks, this pod. This is like my pod to do TikToks. 
Um, Guys, like, see, I don't understand the influencer club. Okay, get out, get out, get out. Um, to be an influencer here at Centennial, you must have that blue check by your name. If you don't have the blue check, don't even consider coming to tryouts. Um, blue checks are everything. Uh, yeah, I actually have no idea who Caroline Creasy is. Um, I don't know what the influencer club is. Uh, I don't think anyone else here has ever heard of that, so. Cut it. Hey guys, spring is right around the corner, and your bird of the week is an eastern bluebird. My name is Herschel Greenblatt, uh, a survivor uh, born in the Ukraine. Uh, survived with my parents and two of my sisters. Uh, my father was in the underground resistance in Poland and in the Ukraine uh, during, uh, during World War II. And I guess because of his uh, resistance and fortitude, uh, we were able to escape and uh, eventually come to the United States. Of course, uh, our family lost pretty much everybody. My father's family at uh, Belgian concentration camp, uh, and then my uh, mother's family uh, in the outskirts of their hometown were uh, machine gunned to death. I got involved with speaking as far as uh, the Holocaust uh, through a very, very close friend of mine. Uh, about 10 years ago, uh, when I was asked to go to see a movie at the Jewish Film Festival, which was, which was a movie about the underground resistance in the Ukraine, which my father was part of. So at that time, they, I was, uh, until then, I really didn't want to talk about it. I, I just, uh, I, mean, I was, you know, raising a family, uh, you, know, you know, going on with my life, but then I felt that I had to do it. Uh, and then I met uh, uh, Andrea uh, at a uh, at a function at, at the Bremen, and she asked if I would, uh, you know, be uh, and talk of, at the, at Daffodil Projects and and actually participate in planting. Uh, we planted for you know here in Atlanta had a, the honor of planting daffodils in Israel. So for the last I guess four or five years, I've been very heavily involved. Uh, anytime I can talk to students about the daffodil program. Uh, daffodils are perennial. They're going to keep growing and growing, and they're going to bloom every year. Uh, the next step is to, uh, as they grow, be aware of uh, their meaning. Uh, uh, be, be aware of, uh, you know, uh, when you see a daffodil, uh, you know that a child was murdered when you're looking at it, and it's a, so. As the years go by, I, I want I want my great grandson. You know, if he sees a daffodil, he'd be able to say, you know, my great grandfather uh, worked on this. Uh, my uh, my great grandmother planted. She she planted flowers all over the world. What's going on, Centennial? This week, girls tennis took home a huge win against River Ridge at home on Wednesday. Team chemistry is looking super great so far, so hopefully we have a really solid season. Now don't even get me started on the boys. Boys tennis took home a huge 4-1 win against Riverwood and River Ridge on Monday and Tuesday. Cooper Davis and Keon Johnny dominated both their doubles matches together. Our Centennial baseball team plays their last series game today against Sequoia. Let's go, boys! <laughs> Girls soccer won 3-0 on Tuesday against Riverwood. Marion Beach, Janai Williams, and Hannah Sherman with the three goals. Good job, girls. The girls and boys soccer teams have a few games till they qualify for the state playoffs. Our boys lacrosse had their senior night on Monday and crushed Kings Ridge 12 to Selm. Everyone put in a good team effort to win senior night, baby. Let's go. Girls across absolutely scorched Buford with a score of 11 to 8. 
All right, so I'm here with 2019 Centennial graduate Jonathan Cannon. So how would you say this season is going so far for you? It's going good. It's just fun to be back out here. Last year, you know, with COVID and everything, the crowds were limited. So it's been great to get out there in front of a lot of fans and play in stadiums like this. That's awesome. That's awesome. So what would you say to college athletes? If you were to go back in time, what would you say to yourself back then? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it's really just the work ethic. Um, I think I wish I had the work ethic that I had now in high school. I think that's the, the biggest key for high school athletes is just get into routines and find a routine that works for you and stick to it. Right, right. And uh, what was your most favorite memory back in your high school uh, baseball career? Ooh, favorite high school memory. Yeah. Uh, I think it might be playing here when I was a when I was a freshman in high school. We played, really? We played here, and it, it was an awesome experience. Just high school, you don't get to play in big stadiums too often. Yeah. And it was an awesome experience. We had to play. I think we played North Oconee here. No uh, way. It was it, it was really fun. That is awesome. And I saw that you were uh, pitcher of the week this year for the NCAA. How do you feel about that? It's a great honor, and it's it's tough right now. You're just trying to keep it week to week and look yeah. ahead to your next start. So I try not to let that distract me too much from my next outing. So that's what I'm looking forward to is this week against Kentucky. That's awesome. And uh, one last question. What would you say college is like? If anybody were to be going into college, what would you say or what would be a piece of advice that you would give to somebody going into college? I would say go, go into it head first. It's, it's a great time, especially freshman year. Everyone's looking to, to make new friends, and everyone, everyone goes from high school and maybe stay around your high school friends a little bit, branch out, and uh, go meet some people. That's what everyone's there for. Make connections, get, make friends, and have fun. All right, thank you so much. Yep, absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank, yep. you, thank you. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs>
so much that students learn in there and there's so much that I learn from students because everybody brings their own perspective, their own life experience, their family's journey, and I just absolutely love it. Um, Ms. Vaughn was a great teacher because she not only like taught you the information that you need, but she taught you how to like make connections in the real world. What are some things people should expect when joining the class? A lot of coloring. Um, a lot of reading, but it's interesting. I have never lectured in that class because there's other ways to get the information across. So it's definitely not based like a typical lecture environment. It's absolutely more hands-on. I think one of my favorite parts was maybe it was, we did Legos, because we were, it was our seventh unit, and we were talking about like cities and like mega structures and stuff, and so we had Legos on a map on the ground, and we had to build them as, to scale as tall as the largest buildings in the world were, and then we had to like compare where they were and like kind of analyze it, and that was like super fun. And maybe besides that, like Biona bags, which I know she does with her world history class, Biona bags are kind of fun because it's like, even if you forgot to bring some of your items, she would let you like as a class be like, oh hey, there's a tissue box here, you can relate that to how they've been using a lot of paper in this country. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of Centennial High School, to The Loft. Today we have a very nice episode for you. We are presenting This or That with our special... Shut up, generic nerd! With our special guest, Generic Nerd! Can I leave? No, cannot leave. They both suck. Can I leave? No, answer the question. Fine. DC. Tie. You know what? Screw it, I'm leaving. No, you can't leave! All the authorities is leaving. Well that's all the time we have, folks. Um, our prisoner, I mean, I mean, guest uh, walked out when he wasn't supposed to. No! Put the that's all for this week, Centennial. And remember, there's only one more week until spring break. You're watching The, the Loft. Loft.